Recording video. Direct touch area. Hello, I'm Flying Jake. This is another Ruthless Review. You know, I got to talk about the news today as to what it was years ago. Honesty is hard to come by anymore. Back when I was a kid, there was, there were Peter Jennings, Ted Koppel, uh, you know, Frank Reynolds when I was really young. Those were journalists. Those were people who told it right and kept it honest. Their voices were matter of fact and they had a tone to them that you knew the truth was there. You knew that what you were getting was quality, good news. It didn't matter what was going on, negative or positive, the news was good. You know, because it was honest news. It was straightforward news. It was what we had to hear. The journalists of today don't hold a candlestick to these people that I mentioned. None of them. About the only ones who do are the people on America's Voice, Real America's Voice. I like them. I like... Uh, Sean Hannity on Fox News, Judge Jeanine Pirro, and a bunch of other ones. But, I mean, you have MSNBC, NBC, ABC, CBS, they're all spewing crap out of their mouths. And they're all, you know, this, this, you know, this goes back to, you know, now they're undermining the fact that uh, they, any of them said that Kamala Harris's borders are. I beg your pardon. Back in the beginning when Harris and company came to power, they stated she was the border czar. And if Rush Limbaugh were alive today, he would back me on that. He would back me. By the way, it was horrible what they all did and did and said to Rush Limbaugh or said about Rush Limbaugh after his death. But, you know, back when... I was a kid, all these older actors you had, and news media, all these journalists, and not only the journalists, not only the news, but everybody had a, a, a moral compass. Everybody had a moral, <sighs> they were based on morals. They, they, you know, there was none of this crazy crap. It all went out the window the minute Trump came to power. The minute he came to power, goodbye common sense. Everybody lost their marbles. And so, you know, most of the news you hear today is twisted, out of sort, untrue. And they like to spin what somebody says, even if you hear a live stream of it, and you hear exactly word for word what the party says, these lowlife on the left will spin it and make it that they said something they didn't say or they meant something that wasn't, you know, that, you know, they'll, they'll take it out of context. Oh, well, President Trump said fight for, our, we, you know, we got to fight morally. And he said, we're going to march down to the Capitol. We're going to stand patriotically. We're going to fight peacefully and, you know, with morals to keep our country. The Democrats, they didn't like it. And you know what? I believe this January 6th insurrection was the Democrats doing. That wasn't President Trump. He told his people not to fight violently. He told them not to act like that. And those who were standing on the sidelines and rendering help to those who were injured or anything, they were even, a lot of them were arrested. And the news media just spun it. They spun it. They made it out that Trump said all this and Trump incited this violence and yada, yada, yada. Now they're saying that President Harris was never border czar. That's a steaming hot pile of feces. She was border czar. And they even came out saying that to begin with. But now they want to walk it back because they want her to win. No matter what, they want Harris in there. 
this radical left wing nut job who wants to take away even our right to eat meat. It'll be a cold day in hell before I call her my president, just like I don't call Biden mine. Biden's not my president. But the news media, they want to spin it. These journalists are corrupt. They're not journalists. They're, they're so, they call themselves journalists. They are crap talkers, plain and simple. They are liars. They are deceivers. You know, I like a poem, and it was written by Marcus Tullius Cicero. It is called Treason. I think it's called Treason from Within. Yeah, that's the name of it. And it says a lot. I don't remember it verbatim, but it was about how, you know, how a nation could survive its, its you know, fools and its bad actors and stuff and people who make their presence known as to what they're doing. A nation can survive that, but it can not survive the treason from within. And it goes on talking about how the traitor from within, he, he comes in and he speaks your language. He, he is the deceiver. He speaks your language. He speaks of your pain. He speaks of what he wants to do. He, his footsteps are silent as he sneaks peacefully through the halls of the city, of the nation, of the, you know, and he undermines the pillars and sets you up to fall. All these journalists who claim to be journalists, they are, they are the traitors from within. Though they don't walk in the political halls, they are just as guilty as the ones who are doing the crap because while well, they believe they say in a free and fair country and blah, 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 we're going to spread, we're going to give you the accurate news. We're going to tell you exactly what you need to hear. Blah, blah, blah. Go to hell, each and every one of you. But you have to check out that poem. It's called Treason from Within. It's written by Marcus Tullius Cicero. It's a great poem. But that's it for this one. We need to get true journalism back on track. We need to get good news reporters in there. And, you know, you can go back through the archives and listen. There's, there's all kinds of stuff on, on YouTube and whatever. There's, uh, there's all, stuff on, all kinds of stuff on uh, archive.org, the Internet Archive. You can go back and listen to journalism back then as opposed to what it is now, and you'll see a stark difference. I'm Flying Jake. This has been another Ruthless Review. Tell me what you think. Hit that like and subscribe. I'll be back again with more YouTube content. Until then, take care. I hope the rest of your summer goes by without a hitch.